What's good, y'all? Happy Saturday. Today's February 3rd. We are inside Disneyland. Yes. Also, we forgot to mention that the challenge for today is to spend less than $100 on treats and food. Thank you. Have a good day. Gotta make sure to take off the sweater. Wow, these are so purple. These are the grape beignets. They do special. look really purple. Yeah, these are limited edition. They're so messy. Grape beignet. Cheers. Mm. They're good. Mm. Like grape Kool Aid? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, I think it's powdered sugar and grape Kool Aid. That's it. It's so messy. Last one. Pro tip, if you get beignets at Disney, go to Harbor Galley, find a table, eat over the table so you don't get it all over yourself, and then just wipe the table off. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. You prefer the normal one? Yeah. Last bite. I rate those like a good 8 out of 10. I really like the flavor actually. Like the beignet was the same texture. It was just a little grape flavor. The powder though was a little sandy. So if you don't like that, then I wouldn't get it. Agreed. We're gonna go on the Columbia. I've never been on this boat before. I don't think you're going on the Columbia. Oh. You're going on the pirate ship. I don't even think there is one named the Columbia. It's Mark Twain. You know guys, I can't believe UMG took down all the music from TikTok. Yeah, that's crazy. Like no Olivia, no Taylor. No Drake. Drew Walls in Shamble right now. You know who is still on there though? Harry Styles. What are the breezes? <laughs> I don't know who this vlogger is, but uh, shout out to her. Now we are at Maurice's Treats, and we're gonna get that cheesy jalapeno bread again. Was it jalapeno? No, I think it was just cheesy bread. It was good though. Yeah. A little greasy, but still good. So this is what the cheesy garlic pretzel bread is looking like. It looks pretty crazy. Looks good. Cheers. Oh, the crazy cheese pull. The bread is nice and soft and chewy, like a pretzel. It's nice and cheesy, and there's also garlic. This was 801. Everything's just hidden just right here. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I think something that means to go buy like Disney is this. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. And get again. This is boiling. We're at like $15 spent. Two items, we have beignets and just this. Kind of want a special drink, but we're gonna probably go to California Adventure. Mm -hmm. And they have the uh, festival going on. Hazel's at the cappuccino part. And Hazel is at the cappuccino part. We can't leak her name. But it arrived with Hazel. <laughs> We're just enjoying our day at Disneyland today. Mm -hmm. I hope everybody else is having a great day today. Comment down below if you like Disneyland or if you've ever been here. Or if you want to come. Last bite. Mm. Okay, it is not a last bite. No. You're good to go. I'm good to go. He's so expensive. Behind the scenes. You want to try it? Yeah. His legs work well. 10 out of 10. Always. You know, this is pretty good bread, actually. It's expensive, though. Like, I think the Mickey one, which is like two times the size of this, was ten dollars. But maybe that lady had a discount. I don't know. Maybe. The lady in front of me bought one. And hers was like ten dollars, and then this was twelve dollars. Here we are in front of the cappuccino cart. My friend works here, so we got samples. We got the green tea horchata and the Vietnamese iced coffee. <laughs> It's very floral. Oh, yeah. 
This one's very strong. Which one do you like better? I don't like either of them, I'll be real. This one needs ice to move, that's why. What would you rate them? This one, if I had ice and like it had time to melt, it tastes like leaves. I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. I'm gonna give it like a 5 out of 10. This is the matcha? The, the green tea horchata. It's floral, right? Yeah. This one's just strong. Yeah. It might just be Lee's coffee. <laughs> right? It tastes just like Lee's. Yeah. Yeah, that's this is at the, the little Joffrey's cart. But I do know that they use scar. I wouldn't get either five, of them though. Five out of ten on both. Yeah, like I wouldn't buy either of them. I don't know what this is. Oh. That's what I wish for. Did this guy copy mine? What the hell? Uh -huh. The higher you tie, the more likely. I'm on my tippy toes up here. The person up there wished for twice. This one's yours. Yep. And Taylor Swift is a. This is me. Katie should be on this train. I see her. We are in cart 21. 21? We don't play with glasses though. Yeah, but it's just because I don't play with glasses. He just copies me. Because he knows I'll beat him anyways. I think I'm going to score over 150,000. I'm going over 150,000 points this game. What do I usually get? 200? Like 200? I don't think I'll get 200 this time. I don't think I'm hitting 200. What the hell? <laughs> How? <laughs> How is that possible? That's how you play this game. Look, you're supposed to open everything and then you go blah, 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 blah. All right, let's see what we got today. <laughs> Damn! 1,000 under? She got the best in the vehicle. It does look fake. Right? Is this a fake video? Oh, this is a AI video. It does look fake. What if he let go of the stick? to share the beautiful Chinese traditions and heritage of this joyous I think she wants your, your hipper. Please join them in welcoming <laughs> Mushu as we celebrate the year no, of the me. dragon. What do you mean by that? This one's a mandarin orange dessert cake. This is a quesabiria egg roll. It come with egg roll. And I'm gonna egg roll with it. It come with egg roll. It come with egg roll. What are you saying? Ooh, not over the case. I was so excited for this. Here's a case of beer and egg roll. Dip it in the sauce. Mm. Is it good? It's really good. Mm. Six out of ten. Six out of ten only? Six out of ten. Not bad. What would you rate this? Probably like an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? I like it. You're kind of cheesy, meaty. I prefer in a sandwich though, not in an egg roll. Interesting. It's very like... Jello-y? She's jiggly. Yeah, let's try it out. I don't like the texture of Jello. You don't like so it? I don't love it. Tastes like an orange creamsicle. I'm gonna give it a zero out of ten. I just don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's like so orangey. What do you think? It's like an orange creamsicle. It is. It's a very orange creamsicle. Yeah. I'm gonna give it three out of ten. That's all you. <laughs> Texture is like Jello. Flavor is like an orange creamsicle. The inside is like kind of like a cheesecake texture though. The chocolate was good. It's been an honor serving with you. Uh, Check the stats for the time you're ready. Don't forget to hold your hand.
Yeah, yeah our guns were broken. Yeah, they were not working all that well. Now we are planning on getting a Mickey pretzel with cheese. Hello, we're back at Disney. We went home for a little bit. We got the Mickey pretzel. Go ahead and go try. I think this is seven fifty. I think without cheese, it's six dollars, and then with cheese, it's an extra dollar fifty. Yeah. Can we get the one with cheese. The cheese is not warm. The cheese is coagulated. Cheers. This is a good 7 out of 10. With mustard. Mustard's kind of good. I actually really like mustard. I'm good this. That's like a 7 out of 10 as well. I didn't know mustard tasted like this. I would put this on a hot dog. The pretzel is nice and warm. It's soft and chewy. Yeah. It's nice and salty. I don't like salt. I just go like this and get all the salt off. We also got this Mickey ice cream sandwich. This was $5.79. She told me to wait a couple minutes before eating it though. Ice cream Sammy. Oh, mono. It's a good eight out of 10. What did you give it? Eight out of 10 as well. Now once you've got style, so we're gonna see some stuff right here. We'll connect that bottom part of her, those curves and those lines in. The bottom guideline for my eyes. And then I want to you bad, baby. Did we at least all have a good time? <laughs> yes. All right, well, that's the most important thing about drawing. And you guys are a person, so you know, that's really tough. Well, I like to see all your eyes, so on the camera. So we got the raspberry oat tea. She's gonna give it a try. This was six fifty from Wrapped with Love Dumpling Cart. What would you rate it? A good eight out of ten. It's really sweet. Ooh, I can taste the tea and the raspberry. It's pretty good. What do you rate it? This is a ten out of ten. Churro for five fifty. We got the drink right here. Here she goes with her churro. And there she has it, her churro. Let's see the official rating. How is it? I'm gonna give it like a five out of 10. Really five hard. out of 10? It's really hard and crunchy. They be fucking up your trills over there. It's not very warm. <laughs> it's nice and crunchy, but it's not soft. It's not warm at all, though. Mm -mm. Oh, true. It's a two out of ten. We're finishing up with our day here at Disneyland. I know we said our challenge was to spend less than $100 on food. I think we passed the challenge. I'll add it up and I'll put the total right here. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. What's good, y'all? Happy Saturday. Today is January 27th, and we are at Knott's Berry Farm for the peanut celebration. Got the Snoopy Eras tour shirt. Bought it off this girl on TikTok. The Snoopy Lunar New Year from Gap. I've never heard of Andy. It's his other brother. The way that my ranking goes is Olaf, Spike, and Andy. Not including Snoopy, but I still want him. This is the Peanut Celebration t shirt this year. It's really oh. cute. It has oh. all the friends on there. Yeah, I actually like this shirt. What the fuck? I love Pig Man. He's so cute. Wait, that one's Pig Calico. Oh, it is. This body one is the one that we voted for Calico. 
I don't know which one we voted Petunia for. It's one of the pink ones. And I think this one was silver bullet. When I was a kid, I used to love pinks. I always wanted one. They're so cute. This is like a drape. It's kind of cute. It's a nice fabric. We are at Strictly on a Stick. We're gonna get the Linus mac and cheese bites over french fries served with a spicy aioli. So these are the french fries with the mac and cheese bites and the spicy aioli. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Go ahead and open up the spicy aioli here. It's kind of thick. It's very thick. I've never seen an aioli that thick. <laughs> thick and chunky. I wonder what's in it. Jalapenos maybe. True, it is supposed to be spicy. We're sitting in front of the stage and the show is gonna start in a couple of minutes. Are you ready? The show starts in 22 minutes. These fries are really good. They're seasoned really well. Mac and cheese bite. Linus's mac and cheese bites. Which one's Linus? You know sure. the baby blanket, right? Sure. Mm. Mm. It's really good. Very good. I've never had a mac and cheese bite before. Very cheesy, solid. It's good. Nice and cheesy, yep. Mac and cheese bites, I would give a 6.5. Fries, I'd also give a 6 out of 10. I agree with that. The mac and cheese bites, they need like something crunchy in it. Like the outside is crunchy, but like the inside is just mushy. Mm -hmm. But it's mac and cheese, so. Mm. It's so sweet. How's the strawberry? It's really sweet. It's not even strawberry season. It's good. I'll be the judge of that. Sweet, huh? 7.5 out of 10. For January, that was a good strawberry. Let's keep it walking. What would you rate it? 10 out of 10. I really like this. It's so good. I love Pong Hulu, but we can't make it. The creme brulee seems interesting, but it has cream in it. The raspberry ball. The old fairy donut. We're going to try the Earl Grey one. Maybe this one right here. Yep. Mm. I don't really like Earl Grey, but the donut itself is very good. The donut is good. It reminds me of a place that we've had, but I can't think of where. The donut's really good. Yeah, out of 10. Yeah. Then we also got plain and chocolate fudge. We'll try those later today. Yum. What's good, y'all? Happy Wednesday. Today's January 31st. Today we're going to be unboxing a five surprise NBA ballers. Mm -hmm. I like the Lakers. I like the Warriors. And Her favorite player is Tori and Prince. First of all, this is like the hardest five surprise ever to open, and I'm pretty sure it's double wrapped. I didn't record anything, but we had snow to go before this. But it's supposed to come with five different minifigures. And part of the floor. Ooh. 
first things first, I got the floor. Oh, no, Wait! Did you get somebody? No! I just got a basketball! I thought they were tiny! Yeah, I thought it came with multiple people in them. Well, this is a scam! Who is this? Donovan Mitchell, he wasn't even on the box! <laughs> we just got scammed! On the box they show, like, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, CP3. So you can get anybody? So I could have gotten Austin Reeves? No, they got 36 different ones. 38. 38. But we got Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, that's what I was confused. I wouldn't know what they were talking about when... Because I flipped the box, and then it was the same exact players, just in their, like, home and away jersey. So I was like, oh, okay, 38, that makes sense. That's... What's good, y'all? It is Friday, February 2nd. We're at Target. Look what we found here. They got a cheesy poofs. Little toy. But apparently, from South Park, you guys are South Park fans. But apparently, there's a hidden Cartman in every box. Cheesy poofs. And look what we also found here. Oh yeah. The Hello Kitty goldfish. not in the goldfish aisle. I went looking for it, but I found it. We also got cracked boba. Yeah. We need a basket. I got too much stuff. Eight out of ten. Five dollars. We are not buying that because it's expensive. Oh my god, how cute is that? So this is what the inside looks like. We scanned it, and it was thirty-four ninety-nine. We're not yeah. getting that shit. Twelve cheesy poofs and a cartman. 